द क्वेश्चन से इज पिक आउट द मालिक्यूल विच हैज जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट इट इज नॉन पोलर बाई नेचर ओके वन वे इट इज आस्किंग विच मालिक्यूल इज नॉन पोलर बाई नेचर ओके मालिक्यूल्स आर केवन देर बाई यूजिंग द जोमेट्री ऑल्सो वी कैन डिटर्मिन पोलारिटी वेदर इट इज पोलर बाई नेचर या नॉन पोलर बाई नेचर वेदर इट हैज जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट या नॉन जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट ओके ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड इन ए मालिक्यूल इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज हैविंग रेगुलर जोमेट्री डिटर्मिन बाई हैवराइजेशन रेगुलर जोमेट्री डिटर्मिन बाई हैवराइजेशन दैट मालिक्यूल विल हैव जीरो डाइपोल मोमेंट हैंस इट विल बी नॉन पोलर बाई नेचर नॉन पोलर एंड इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज हैविंग लोन पेयर If the central element is having lone pair, its dipole moment will not be zero. It will be non-zero. Means some polarity will be there. Always keep in mind. Some polarity will be there. Okay. And uh, we have also learned uh, dipole moment is directly proportional to lone pair as the number of lone pair increase. Dipole moment also increases. Let's draw the structure first of all. We have ammonia molecule. Ammonia molecule. This is H. It is H. It is H. It is there. It is having one lone pair. Nitrogen is can form three bonds, having one lone pair. Lone pair is there. In this case, dipole moment will be definitely is there. Dipole moment is there. It is polar by nature. Dipole moment cannot be zero. Lone pair or, or the central element. Okay. If I talk about the second molecule, H2 is there. Oxygen. It is having two lone pairs. This hydrogen is there. Hydrogen. Two lone pairs. If we compare which has higher dipole moment, we can say water molecule because in this case number of lone pair are higher than in this case one lone pair, two lone pair. Right? The lone pair increases, dipole moment also increases. So it has higher, so we can say it is more polar by than this one also. Another point also, dipole moment is directly proportional to electronegativity also. Higher the electronegativity, higher is the dipole moment. Oxygen is having more electronegativity. Then nitrogen. We can say this way also by using the electronegativity concept. Also, we can answer oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. Then it has more dipole moment than ammonia molecule. Next, BCl3 is there. Boron is present in the 13 group and it has three valence electron and it is forming three bond. Having three valence electron and all the valence electrons used in the bond formation means boron does not carry any lone pairs. Then chances are there we can get the regular geometry because it does not carry the central element does not carry any lone pairs. Okay, all the valence electrons used in the bond formation three sigma bond three sigma bond hybridization will be what sp two and in this case we get trigonal planners regular geometry and if regular geometry is there and central element does not carry any lone pair in this case dipole moment will be zero we can say it is non polar by Nature. This is what we are looking for. Pick out the molecule which has zero dipole moment. BCl3 is having zero dipole moment. Very interesting. If we talk about uh, SO2 also, you can see sulfur is having how many valence electron? Six valence electrons. Each oxygen forms how many bond? You can see two bond are there. So you can see it is having lone pair. If lone pair is there, dipole moment will not be zero. So we are getting dipole moment zero only in case of BCl3. Option C is Correct. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.